so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Shot. Now you see guys well more educated with that jab in that front hand. Oh, he's now dealing with a cheek drop. And doing work with the jab. Back to the feet now. Well, no denying that he blocked. Oh. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Nice one-two there. likely the source of that conflict. When everything is going great, you tend to feel like you can walk through a wall. He doesn't need to walk through a wall. He needs to continue to find the right avenue to land those shots. All right, so another nice strike to the thigh. Some bruising starting to develop, and that could render his opponent a one-legged fighter here down the line. And it'll take some time. It'll take some time. Oh, oh big left. Seem to be stunned to a significant. Oh, another one. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Look. Ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. He throws all of himself into that kick. Great body kick there. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have it. Wow. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's Third go. round underway. Body kick lands. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Ooh! Oh, a big left hand! Oh! Well, we talk about these calf kicks all the time. Don't want to take too many more of those. I cannot believe how damaging that strike has become. Nice straight there by Hooker. Oh! In a ton of trouble right now. Big left hand there inside. Oh! Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. That was lightning fast, that right hand. See how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Oh. I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what we're talking about. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. 
at two minutes, 45 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Daniel the Hangman Hooker. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this.